Well, I'm in the parking lot of the Clearfield Pizza Hut, and I'm going to try the Detroit-style pizza. Um, specifically, I got the Detroit Double Pepperoni. And let's see what it says on the box. Okay, so we've got crispy cheese edges. Hint, go for the corner pieces. 50% uh, more cheese melted all the way to the edge. Loaded with toppings, uh, cooked to perfection. Um, oh, vine ripened tomato sauce on top keeps the crust light and airy. Okay, that sounds a little bit unlikely, but okay, let's switch back to the other angle. Oh, God, gosh, I didn't record it. Ugh! I did not record this. This sucks. Okay. Yeah, they, the, um, you see this here? Yeah. What they mean by keeps the crust light and airy is the tomato sauce is not on the crust. It's on the cheese. They have crust, then cheese, then toppings, then tomato sauce. And it's got, well, the tomato sauce and the cheese have an overabundance of garlic salt that kind of overpower everything, including the toppings. I mean, ugh. Right. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's edible, but I'm not ordering one again. Let's stick to the traditional American pizza, which, well, it is American family pizza, is Italian, but let's say I'm sure that what we're eating is not a traditional pizza, normal. You know what I mean? Yeah. If it's not from Detroit. Oh. Yeah. Oh, just discovered something else. Uh, the sauce has chunks of tomato in it, and uh, I don't really care for solid tomatoes. I mean, I can choke them down if I have to, and you know, at least these are cooked. They're not raw with the, the uh, tomato gel in them. But yeah, also, I don't know. Just... Oh, yep. Not uh, good pizza for eating while driving. Um, yeah, you know, the sauce would drip less if you put it between the cheese and the crust instead of on... You know, I've, I've, we've established that. Yeah. How many chins do I have?